I'm bringing in the cools as you move into the more shadow areas. There's a little bit of a cooler gray and the warmer light. Even though green is considered a cool color, there's a tremendous amount of range in all the colors. So the, the main medium tone of the flesh, of this zombie's flesh, is in a warmish light. Uh, it, it's essentially a white light, but it's got a little bit of yellow in it. So the highlights, the medium tones are warmer, and then you, as you move into shadow, I'm adding a little bit more gray. Uh, one thing I like to do too is as you move away from the focal point, as you're moving down the body, it's going to be even more in shadow. So the skin on his face, the medium tone might be, you know, this yellowish green, but the skin down by his knee is going to be gray and cooler and darker in value. So as you move down the figure, there's kind of this um, subtle fading of light and getting a little bit cooler. So uh, your eye will naturally go to warm colors in a painting. So and and warm colors move forward and cool colors recede. So you will by having the warm colors being in the main focal area, like his chest and his upper body, then uh, your your eye will be drawn there. And as you fade down the figure into the cooler light and the, a little darker shadowy area there's a lot less emphasis and it's more it becomes more support material